Beech trees are some of our favourite trees. There's something special about the mature specimen, towering to the skies, branches spreading around it. They become a focal point of our landscapes, of our parks. A place where we can go and rest in the shade on a summer's day. A place to enjoy. They're also very complex. Strong, yet vulnerable. Resilient, yet sensitive. They are truly amazing trees. Did you know, these tall, majestic giants are vulnerable to sunstroke. If a beech tree is heavily pruned on a hot summer's day, the sun's rays can be so strong they penetrate the bark and cause the sap within to boil, which isn't very good for the tree. Have you ever wandered through a beech woodland and noticed how bare the ground seems to be? There's few shrubs, very few seedlings, nothing really getting going, no vegetation. And it's not because the tree here isn't prolific in producing seeds. Now, I used to think that this was because the tree cast such a dense shade in the summer with its foliage that there wasn't enough light to get to the ground to sustain anything. Actually, the reality is far more complex. The tree doesn't want to be competing with vegetation on the ground, the next generation of seedlings and saplings, for the limited resource of light, water, nutrients. So what it does is it releases a chemical through the roots into the soil that inhibits the growth of vegetation. It might seem a bit brutal, it seems to be effective. Now I find that pretty amazing. Beech trees are unusual in our, amongst our longer lived native species in that they don't produce a heartwood. They just have the core. Now, with trees such as birch and ash, which don't tend to live more than 100 years, that's understandable. They aim to grow and mature and reproduce as quickly as they can. Beech trees can live for over 300 years. A bit like the oak behind me, which can live for over 500 years. The problem for the beech is that it's very vulnerable to decay attacks. Now, the fungi gets in and accesses all the resources within this trunk and use it to reproduce. What is amazing is that we have a battlefield within the tree for this resource and it produces natural markings and when the tree is fouled this timber is some of the most valued for wood turners because of the colour of the fungal markings. I find that pretty amazing.